Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Saturday. All I have done today so far is sleep in super late because I went to a concert last night and then I got home really, really late. A few of my friends slept over here as well after the concert and my shirt that i'm wearing is really cute but it's super itchy i was gonna wear this the i think the last day of bonnaroo or one day there and i put it on and i was just like with the heat and everything i was like i can't wear this but i'm wearing it today <laughs> i also just went and had lunch well i guess it was kind of breakfast because it was my first meal of the day and we ate bagels but I went um, to breakfast with Michael and I just kind of started off the vlog on a little bit of a later foot today. I'm basically just chilling this weekend at home with the dogs because um, my parents for Father's Day weekend, they they always are going away on the weekends basically. They'll go like drive and do some camping. So they're in the Blue Ridge Mountains. They invited all of us, um, but Megan and Nevin went and um, I was invited, but also the dogs wouldn't have had anyone to watch them if I went, um, cause there's four dogs so we couldn't really bring all of them there, you know? So I just decided I would stay here and chill for the weekend, honestly, um, in between Bonnaroo and Electric Forest. I think I kind of need this weekend to chill out, honestly, but I'll see them tomorrow. So yeah, and I was thinking about it and watching some old vlogs and thinking about how I used to do little Q and A's in my vlogs. And I realized I haven't done that in a while. And I also haven't done a Q and A on my main channel in quite some time. So I thought this vlog would be fun to kind of like spice things up or like make things a little bit different because honestly I'm just home alone today so like it's not really gonna be a, an exciting vlog at all. I tweeted out for you guys to ask me your questions, any questions that you have and I've gotten a lot of notifications because I think my friends also saw my tweeted. Some of my friends are asking me questions. So honestly I'm gonna switch out of this shirt because it's very uncomfortable right now. So today I got in the mail my Rihanna Fenty slides. I actually ordered these in every color. <laughs> I waited for the price to go down a little bit on eBay from when they originally came out. If you guys haven't seen them, they look just like this. You just like slide on. I mostly got them because just for like really quick, I'm always like doing really quick walks downtown and this is just gonna be so easy, not to mention comfy, to slide on, especially for like the mornings when I'm just taking Squirtle out. I got them in a seven and a half and I think these are really more of like an eight almost eight and a half I would say. Um, they're a little bit big but I don't really think it matters too much because it's just like a slide shoe so I don't think I'm gonna exchange but I also did get black and pink so I'll show you guys when they come in next week. Look at my freaking hair. Today I just took the t I just took all the dogs for a walk and like it was really humid and I could do something with it today but I'm also just lazy. Anyway I got all of the shoes and I also got like the I don't remember exactly what they're called but they're like the white Rihanna like high top shoes from the collection as well. I basically had no control the other day and I just decided I needed four pairs of Rihanna shoes. There's no excuse for this, but they come with their own little dust bag too, so I should be getting the other two this week. I'll try them on for you guys, why not? If you ignore the fact that I have a broken toenail from last night, they're fluffy, they're a great like pool shoe, summer shoe. I'm very happy with my purchase. Like I said, I just found them on eBay because they sold out so quickly. Hey guys, okay, so I am having some Chinese food leftovers from last night. Fried rice is my shit. But I thought I would eat this while I do the Q&A because I got a lot of questions from you guys. So I'm just gonna be reading in order from, pretty much in order from like who asked me stuff first. First question is, do you ever miss high school? And I would say not really. I think life, at least for me and most people, um, just opens up and gets a lot bigger and better after high school. So I definitely, you know, obviously miss the people that I would see every single day because I don't see them every single day anymore. But that's about it. Drew Mack says, what color? This is an inside joke with me and Drew and like some, some of our friends and Miranda sings, but I would have to say the color is turquoise. Lily Lane Music, my friend Lily, I haven't seen her in so long, says, do you miss me like I miss you? The answer is absolutely yes. I miss you all the freaking time, Lily, and I wish you didn't live so far away in New York and you need to come visit LA seriously soon. The dressing in like the ginger salad that you get at like Chinese and Japanese places sometimes, I am obsessed with it. I don't know why it's so good, but it's so flavorful. My friend Tia, or Tia D underscore on Twitter, she's amazing, it says, current favorite artists slash bands slash take this moment to ramble about your favorite music at the moment. Tia, I will. 
um, where you guys can keep up with what I'm always listening to and I change this playlist all the time but it's my what I'm listening to now playlist on Spotify I used to do like monthly playlists or maybe like spring or fall but honestly what I'm listening to now just makes so much more sense because I'll delete stuff when I'm over it and then I just add like when I find a song that I really like or I've been listening to a lot I will add it to that playlist so go and check out my Spotify I'll have it as the first link in the description box there is new bass nectar out um, as of yesterday his new album is out and I have been listening to that a lot especially cuz like when I'm here and home all of my friends that I go to shows with they all pretty much live in Georgia he's having a show in Atlanta in September that sold out so quickly but my friends friends managed to get me a ticket cuz I couldn't even get a ticket before it sold out but it's a two-night show in September that's here and the only reason that's kind of like very significant is because he doesn't really do shows anymore he just does festivals for the past couple of years he'll do like the New Year's show and stuff anyway it's a two at night show which I've never like bought tickets for something and gotten to go two nights in a row so let me know if any of you guys are hitting that up um, I'm also seeing him at Electric Forest next week but check my what I'm listening to now playlist on Spotify as I said because there's a lot of stuff on there I've been getting into the new Ariana Grande album as well I like a lot of different types of music radiative Justin asks are you thinking about getting any more tattoos the answer to that is absolutely I know a loose idea for my next piece. My piece, I don't know if that was right. Frig, my uh, my low battery is blinking at me. <sighs> I will charge this after this Q&A. Yes, I wanna get on my back, probably on the back of one of my shoulders. I hope this is staying in focus because I'm moving so much. I'm sorry if it's like going in and out. Um, on the back of one of my shoulders, I wanna get a pastel colored small it's not going to be too big it's probably going to be not bigger than like this or something i want to get the base nectar base drop which is a symbol and a community that i've talked about this in a vlog before that just means so much to my life and symbolizes like a time in my life when i think a lot of things just changed for me and a lot of things just opened up and i started to see the world as a lot more of like a positive place than i ever did before so that sounds like so intense right but it's like something that means more to me than just like my favorite artist to see live yeah and i think i want it coming out of a lotus flower possibly like you know my phone case design for wildflower i kind of really really like that obviously i designed it um so i love the lotus flower on that so it might be coming out of a lotus flower and i'm sure there will be some more to it but i don't think i want it to say anything because my both my tattoos are already say stuff and they're black so um, it's gonna be a colorful piece i need to work more on the idea but yeah caroline asks if you could only go to one festival a year which one would you go to that would be really hard to decide i think i would i probably would have said bonnaroo if i didn't go to okeechobee this year and have like the most incredible experience at okeechobee because it's like a smaller bonnaroo and i honestly think it like ran better just because it wasn't so crazy and also isn't in the middle of summer so it was definitely a little bit cooler i would go to okeechobee um that oh sorry i always say it wrong you guys comment whenever i talk about it it's okeechobee not okeechobee oh wait it's okeechobee not okeechobee okeechobee I hope I'm saying it right now. I'm sorry. It's like, you know when you get used to saying a word and you always just say it that way? I'm not trying to like pronounce it wrong. Um, Extra Addy says, do you think Fitum was worth it? I hope I spelled that right, LOL. I'm not in classes currently at the moment. It wasn't benefiting me like the new program that I was in honestly for like this point in my life right now. Like I didn't have an end goal and I really wasn't getting what out of the classes I was when I was and fit them for like the major that I intended to go in so I just kind of started something else and I tried it out but I'm not in classes currently um I definitely might go back but I'm not currently in classes but like you guys know I did finish my beauty industry merchandising and marketing program last summer and I totally think it was worth it like just the experience overall of like going to college and having such a specialized major and program I don't regret it at all definitely try it out if you're on the fence like I don't know if college is for me I would say give it a try for sure like a good try i wanted to give up at first as well and then i just realized what the heck like i can do this and i'm gonna get so much out of this and i really did if anything you meet and you experience so much and so many people that are going to be like helpful to you um just whatever you might need them in your career at a later date i need to hurry this up because this is gonna die 
You guys always ask me questions about like where else would I live if I didn't live in LA and where do I see myself living long term? Um, I definitely see myself living in LA for the next few years. I feel like I'll always come back to LA even if I move away. Maybe it's just because I, I just love living there so much. I don't really want to go live anywhere else right now. But um, I would like to live in San Francisco for a period. Um, hopefully I can do that this fall. I've been saying that I was going to do it. I would just get like a place on Airbnb. It's just going to be annoying because I'm going to have to leave my apartment in LA for like you know, a month or however long I decide to go. It might be like three weeks. I definitely could see myself in San Francisco for some time. I absolutely love it there. Um, I don't know, I love a lot of places. I really liked Austin when I went there. Um, I love Portland, I love Seattle. I loved Vancouver. I like the West Coast a lot, honestly. But I mean, there's so many cities that I like and I think I definitely could like thrive in. I don't know where else I would live outside of the country. I mean, there's definitely places that I would go, but I just haven't been, so I don't know if I would even like wanna live there, but I think I could thrive most places, I guess, but we shall see. Oh, definitely wanted to address this. This question is from Diana and she says, what happened to souls at sundown? I don't know if y'all said anything. I might've missed it. We didn't really say anything about it. Um, Meg and I just, since like we started Sister Summer and have been home for the summer, have both just like had like schedules very busy, both like either I'm away or she's away or something. And we haven't really like made slash had the time to film or record a Souls at Sundown just with all of the filming and editing that we're doing for Sister Summer right now. So Souls at Sundown will be back. It's just on a little bit of a hiatus. We should have a new episode this Friday, I believe June 24th. So yes, look out for that. I will talk about it in a vlog when it is up. Um, if you guys haven't listened to Souls at Sundown, I'll have it linked in the description box because Megan and I have our podcast and I, love, I would love for you guys to listen to it and just like get your feedback on souls at sundown honestly you guys just like do you i've been going through a lot of changes in the past few months um probably ever since 2016 started but i think this year has honestly probably been like the best year of my life i just think that it's really important to be doing what is right for you and not what you feel like you should be doing or have to be doing like live the life that you want to live and live the life of your dreams seriously and like if you do feel like you're stuck at like a job or in a place or living somewhere or something um we all feel stuck sometimes and you just kind of have to like make the most of that like don't dwell on that there's a lot of things in life that you can't control and that's there's no point in getting stressed out about them because you have no control over that so um i would say just like do the things that make you the happiest hang out with the people that bring you up and live your life because life is short and honestly um especially based off of current things that have happened in the world past weekend um you never know when something is gonna happen and when your life could be taken away so i know i just got really deep there i wasn't intending on that but that's why i kind of try to just live every day and like have all of these experiences and have like the most fun and do things that make me the highest happiest version of myself because you never know when you might not get to experience those things. I love you guys. Thank you for listening to this q and I'm gonna charge up my camera now. I'll probably talk to you guys in a few hours. Um, I'm gonna be hanging out with one of my friends and this is like a 16 minute long clip. So this is probably gonna be like towards the end of the vlog. Hey guys, it is actually the next day now. Um, last night I ended up going to one of my friend's houses for the night after I talked to you guys and my camera was just chilling here charging. I think it was definitely long enough yesterday with the Q&A and that was like definitely like pretty much all I did yesterday. Yeah, today is Father's Day, Megan vlogged today. I think it was definitely a good vlog. We were just chefing up um, some dinner for my dad and we just had that and it was a really good day and I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog from yesterday. Give it a thumbs up if you liked and um, I think tomorrow's vlog will be more like fun because I know my last couple have been kind of like, bleh, I don't know, um, just like chill. I've just been having a lot of chill days, I guess. So yeah, I will see you guys um, in my vlog tomorrow. So look out for that. I love you so much. Goodbye.